Are we rolling? Are we rolling? Right. Did we start? Right. Oh, we, we, we've right. started! Right. Welcome everybody to the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. Boom! And here it is now. This is the Devoom Pixu 64, a pixel art display. Similar to the two pixel art displays that are currently running in the background that are also products by Devoom, but I'm referring to this product right here, boom, and this in the background right here, which is another pixel art display. These are my retro pixel art displays that I've done a video on. These are also very good Bluetooth speakers among all the rest of the cool stuff that the Devoom products do because they integrate with an app. But today, their newest product, the Pixu 64, which is now a smart home display, meaning it connects directly to the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi, which gives it the capability to be constantly fed data and it can visualize that data. What data might you be asking? Axing? <laughs> what data might you be asking? <laughs> what date might you be asking that? <laughs> Stocks and social media counters and give you live data vis that way. But let's crack it open. Let's put these back and let's jump right into the new Pixu 64. Carefully take off the shrank wrap, shrimp wrap. The Pixu 64 is the most unique and versatile pixel art display by Davoon yet. Using the wireless internet connectivity, it provides the live status of your social media accounts, posts. You can also use Pixu 64 as a decoration with your favorite pixel art animations. So if you're familiar with Davoon products, they've increased the pixel count on this one to double of their last display, which was 32 pixels. This one's now 64, and the ones in the back are 16. So a lot more detailed in terms of the animations that they're capable of. Shaky, shaky. Davoom. So power cable. Mounting hardware. Ooh, okay. It's a square frame. Looks like a square picture frame. It has mounting holes all around it, actually. Little like tripod mounting threads there. One at the top and two at the bottom. You can see it's also got more uh, screw mounting threads there if you want to screw it in there as well. That's what this hardware was for. There you go. So I'm not gonna screw it in fully, but basically if you want, it also comes with these, these pieces of hardware. You can screw them in and it creates like these little eyelid things here. So they give you many mounting options for this thing. On the back, there's also a kickstand that pops out. So on this bottom sort of screw hole, you just sort of clip it into the back and you can use it in picture frame mode. This is a device that does need power. It does not have a built-in battery. The intention is to have it be a more permanent display and you're kind of good to go. On the side here, you have your power and it looks like you can actually cycle through the modes too. So test, test, oh. So that's audio vis mode. Just shut off on me. So hot usually displays the, the hottest animations. Okay, let's actually connect it though to our app. I'm going to try to pair this thing. Available device, Pixu64, enter your Wi-Fi name and password. So it's gonna connect to the device. Connected! New firmware update available. All right, well, let's update this firmware. Our firmware is just about to finish updating now. Okay, so if you're not familiar with Devoom products to begin with, it's connected to a whole community of artists who, who share their work and it's gonna constantly cycle through these different animations. And for whatever you're into, whatever kind of design work you like, whatever kind of photos you wanna display, believe me, there are animations for you which you can select your favorites and have them cycle through that. Right now, we just booted up, it's totally on random, so it's just playing random designs right now. We haven't customized it at all. So as you would imagine, you can of course take part of this community, you can create your own animations, you can draw your own animations, Let's check out some of that right now. Let's try to draw our own animation. Let's see, design. Okay, I'm just drawing some squiggly lines here and it's coming into play. Let's add some red in there, maybe some green, you know. Why not some, uh, some blue while we're at it? That's my masterpiece that I've just drawn for you guys now. Animation, you can create your own animations, pixel coloring, music. Listen, we can upload our own picture, take photo. 
Let's try to take a photo of something. Hold on, let's see. What, what, what can we take a photo of? Let's take a photo of this light right here. Or maybe let's take a photo of our floating moon lamp. Crop image. Boom. And there you go. I just took a photo of my floating globe in the back and it just made a pixelized version of it. So you can upload any picture and it will convert it into pixel magic here. Buying some NFTs lately? Throw your non-fungies up on the display. Okay, so the thing that I'm most interested in, what I think makes this really cool, is the connectability to social media apps, um, different kinds of clocks and calendars, different kind of financial data, different kind of games. You can connect it to game data. There's holiday counters. For example, this is a clock on the number of days to Christmas. You can have a Spotify clock. So it looks like you can log into your Spotify account and display what you're listening to. So that's super neat. But my favorite, and I wanna see, is we can connect our YouTube account or our Twitch account. Okay, so to connect your YouTube account, I actually had to enter my channel ID because searching my channel name wasn't working, but I got my channel ID copied and pasted. And boom, it shows up. Okay, so it's displaying the current amount of subscribers and the current view count. We can actually go in, we can disable view counts if you want it. Uh, so we can just have it display the live subscriber count at all times and it'll scroll your channel name at the bottom there. And then it gives the time and the date of today. So that's pretty cool. You can also connect your Twitch, your Twitter. So we can actually display all of our social media accounts at once through this clock right here. But there's a ton of different clocks if you just want the date and the time. This one's called Iced Lemonade Clock. If you look in this app here, there's, there's like a ton of clocks to choose from. <laughs> This one's pretty funny because I have a watch that looks very similar to that. We can actually get a live update on different cryptocurrencies. So at the time of this recording, Bitcoin's at $43,000 for all of you folks who care for that kind of thing. Select currency. So you can select what currency to convert it to within the settings. You can do the stocks. Yep, which stocks you want it to um, display. Exchange rate, cyber currency. So I think this one is if you want to select, you know, a number of different cryptocurrencies, you can load that data up there. So Ethereum uh, page, you can select different pages. So, you know, by default, it has Ethereum, Dogecoin, Binance, Cardano, Solana, and the list goes on. But that's pretty neat. What else we have? We got game stats you can display. For example, like League of Legends, Apex Legends, Overwatch, Fortnite stats. They even have a COVID-19 tracker, apparently. That's, I don't even know what to say about that. Amazon Music, Fitbit Clock, different RSS feeds you can put, World Clock. Just a bunch of different options here. Okay, so the next thing, of course, to do is to try out the music visualizer modes here. So it looks like there's a total of 12 different visualizers you can choose from here in the app. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's throw Crab Rave on. chicken dancing. So it is reacting, because if we kill the music, now it's reacting to my voice. You know, I believe there's also a bunch of tools in here, let's see, such as a noise meter. Oh, there we go, there's our noise meter. Okay, so in addition to the sort of Wi-Fi data visualization, the different clocks, dates, and all the animations, it does have an array of built-in tools like stopwatches, alarms. It has a countdown meter, so you can just set how many minutes. Boom, start, and it'll count down. Scoreboard, voice command, stopwatch, countdown meter, noise meter, alarm planner, music, design, animation, pixel coloring. And now with the Pixu 64, you can actually also control this with your Amazon Alexa. So I'm gonna link it right now with my Alexa. 
Computer, turn on Pixel. Pixel 64 is ready now. So the Pixel 64 plugin for Alexa has a long list of voice commands to control it, but my only complaint is that they have to be worded in a certain way to work, and it's kind of hard to remember what the phrases are. Computer, ask Pixu64 to display the Bitcoin clock. Sure, Pixu64 is now showing Bitcoin. So to get around this, you can make routines to basically trigger the commands through different voice prompts and set whatever you want your voice prompt to be. I pretty much am only going to use this to turn the thing on and off anyways, so it's good enough for me. Computer, turn off Pixel. Sure. Turning off the Pixu 64 now. Okay, so there you have it. The Devoom Pixu 64 in all of its glory. Feature pack thing. I think it has a ton of very useful functional features. Information display as well as an art display. Definitely pick it up if you're into that. I think it would make a great addition to enhancing the visual aesthetic of any setup. Price links are in the description below. If you're curious about the shirt I'm wearing, it's made by a company called Into the AM. They make these awesome space themed graphic tees and apparel. Links and discount codes are in the description below if you're interested in checking them out. This is the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination.